Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end new and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm so excited to show you the all-new Fleetwood Frontier GTX. New product, new floor plans, so luckily we get to see two different floor plans, the two that they offer. Um, so I'll be doing the main walkthrough on the 37 RT, and then I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the 39 TA, so that you can see both floor plans. This one I'm super excited about because um, for all of the you that can work remotely now, we have the option of a dedicated office, um, or you can have a full big walk-in closet or office and walk-in closet. Anyway, you'll get to see it when we go inside. So just something to look forward to. Another thing, when I do these videos, I want to tell you all about the coach. Um, I want you to learn about it. I know you're doing your research, but make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. Um, we want to take care of you. We want customers for life. So make sure you pick up the phone, get online, nirvc.com, and get in touch with us so that we can help you into the RV of your dreams. All right, so let's start at the top of the coach. We've got our marker lights. Just below that, we've got the um, high-mounted windshield wipers, so you have more visibility. And then just check out that beautiful, big windshield. So I always say your trip starts as soon as you get behind the steering column, and then you get to see this beautiful country through that windshield. I love that. Now, right in the center of the windshield, you'll see kind of a rectangle box. When you opt in for the safety awareness package, you get the mobile eye, which is lane departure detection. It also um, looks at the speed limit signs as you're go traveling, and you can have it alert you when you're a certain uh, uh, miles per hour over the speed limit. Um, also, alerts you of pedestrians when you're going slower, and then it's your collision mitigation. So it wants to make sure you don't get an accident. So it's a nice safety feature. Along with that, you also get um, the cameras that you can flip through inside the coach so that you can see outside the coach from your rear view camera and your side um, cameras. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get inside the coach. Then we've got the new front cap here that's beautiful. We've got the cool looking lights here and then we have the generator that actually pulls out from the front. Along the full front of the cap you have diamond shield so it's going to protect your beautiful paint job. This is the Explorer exterior paint color. Beautiful. There's three other options that you can choose from. The paint is also double clear coated so that means they're going to put the clear coat on, sand it off, put another coat on, and then sand and buff it down. So it makes it so that you don't have a transition when you go from one paint color to the other. Um, just gives a really nice high-end look. Along with this beautiful paint job, uh, Fleetwood also uses one-piece fiberglass wall with no wood backer, so you're not gonna have to worry about DLAM um, on this coach. You're always gonna have this gorgeous paint job. We've got our exterior mirrors here. The very top corner of the mirror, we have our external camera on both, uh, both mirrors. So when we turn on our right blinker, we're gonna see, be able to see down the full length of our coach. And again, that's gonna to contribute to that security camera when you're inside. Then the top two thirds of the mirror is controlled internally. And then the bottom por portion here, you just have to adjust manually. This is a turn signal indicator. So when you put on that blinker, it's going to uh, indicate that you're turning right, which is gonna be really nice for the cars in this lane here. Then our first marker light for the passenger side of the coach. The Frontier GTX sits on the Freightliner chassis. Now, if you want to know more about the Freightliner chassis, you can go watch my Freightliner uh, chassis video where you see um, the raw chassis going through the whole factory. It's really interesting, um, especially if, again, if you want to do your research, make sure you check that out. Now, once uh, Freightliner sends uh, Fleetwood the chassis, then Fleetwood goes ahead and they put on their Freedom Sport foundation. So really the foundation is the most important part of your coach. Uh, just like when you're building a house, you have to have a strong, true foundation. So they put that steel foundation right over the ra raised rail chassis. So it's like a saddle, um, saddle bridge, and it makes it strong, uh, just makes, gives it a great ride. I think you're gonna be really impressed when we go for our test drive. So you get the best tires, in my opinion, on this coach. You get the Michelin 275 tires. Uh, really important that you have good tires and really important that you keep 
your tires in good condition. One thing I want you to go watch is my Retroband video. We just came out with version two. Basically, it's a spare within your tire. Um, so important. I've seen uh, you know too many RVers with front end blowouts. This will give you a run flat device, keep you safe. Um, anyway, we tested the product at speed, 70 miles per hour. Make sure you go and watch that. The GTX has the tinted frameless windows that look really nice. And then we've got our porch light here. And then we have our security light here in the center of the coach. Now we also have a really great awning, but with the wind gust today, the wind sensor is not gonna let us bring that awning out. So you're just gonna have to imagine how much great shade it would give us. You know, and that's one of the things I always tell customers. Um, occasionally I'll drive by coaches and I see that their awnings are out, their tow vehicle's gone. I think that's always super dangerous. I never take out my awning unless I'm, you know, basically outside my coach around in case there is a big gust of wind. Um, you don't want to see what the, what, the, what the wind can do. The sensors are great, but sometimes the wind's a little bit stronger. So a standard feature on the GTX is this exterior TV, 50 inch Samsung TV with the sound bar and it gets even better. It pulls out so that you can direct that TV away from the sun and get the best um, viewing angle for your guests. So really nice, I love the exterior TV, great for resale. Um, this is the way a lot of people wanna enjoy nature with a little TV. Here is the fuel fill for the passenger side. So we have a 100 gallon um, diesel fuel tank and you can fill it from either the driver's side or the passenger side. So that's always nice. And then let's check out the storage. So in our first compartment, I think you're gonna be amazed at how much uh, space you get here. They're nice and tall here and then you've got a deep space. We also have the light, so you can turn that light on at the front door. You can turn on all the luggage compartments and you can turn them all off at the same time. Just inside here, we've got the box that's for our um, optional central vac, all the hoses and everything that you'll need. So if you were impressed with the amount of storage in that first compartment, check out this compartment. Just pull this little string here. So look how big this is, isn't this nice? Now you can get a pass-through tray, you can option one in um, if you want to for this space. Now it's 66 inches wide uh, from ceiling to the floor here, it's 34 inches tall. And then when you get to the chassis rail to the floor, it's 19 inches. So you have 19 inches of pass-through. Um, if you add a tray, you're probably gonna take away an inch or two in that tray itself. Um, but again, that's one of those things that our RV lifestyle specialists at National Indoor RV Centers can help you with, talk you through it, and we can put that on, on your order form if you'd like. But I love this big pass-through area. And another big storage compartment here. We also have the filter here for our central vac. Again, like I said, that's an optional item. And we have 110 available outlet here. Then we have our surge guard um, RV power protection transfer switch. So a lot of people don't understand what the transfer switch does. It transfers the power. So you either are transfer to generator power or 50 amp or shore power. So it will always favor generator power. For example, let's say you are at a campground, you're plugged into shore power, um, there's a surge and the breaker gets tripped. But it's pouring rain, you don't want to go out there, so you just turn on your generator um, so that you have power throughout the night. Um, now it's going to stay at generate, generator power until you turn that off and transfer it back to the shore power. Um, now the transfer switch also, one of the things I recommend is getting a surge protector um, because what will happen if you have a surge, um, it will lock the power into one or the other, whatever you're using, generator or shore power, and it won't allow you to use the other one if something happens to that transfer switch. Um, so we recommend at National Indoor RV Centers that you come to us, you can either add one at the end of your cord. Um, those can always be stolen, unfortunately, nowadays. That's something that we have to worry about. Um, or we can install one inside the bay so that it's shut and locked and protected. Second marker light for the passenger side of the coach. Then as we go back here, I want you to notice that we have V-Ride. So that comes from Freightliner. That's gonna give you more stability, less sway as you're going down the road. 
um, making those tighter turns, it's going to give you more confidence behind the wheel. One of the things that I love, again, it just adds to that great ride and drive of the Frontier GTS. Just above that, we've got our dryer vent and then more storage plus a few really important controls in here. So here we have optioned in the technology package which gives you that 300 watt solar panel up top on the roof. Then we've got our battery disconnect for our batteries right here and our disconnect for our inverter. Those are super important to know where they are and make sure you turn them off um, if you're storing your coach somewhere where you're not plugged in to 50 amp service because um, you don't want to have any parasitic draw. If we are lucky enough to have you as customers at National Indoor RV Centers, where we store at least 300 coaches at each of our locations, where you are always plugged into either 50 amp or 30 amp service, whatever your coach requires. And then we also offer full valet service. So you just call, let us know that you want to pick up your coach. Uh, we will pull it out of storage. We'll check the tire pressure fill the fresh water tanks, have it ready and waiting for you to go, and you can just drop off your car or hook up your car and hit the road. Here is the 2000 watt pure sign inverter, um, kind of tucked away in its own compartment. You wanna make sure that there's enough room for that to breathe. You don't want your inverter to get too hot, so you don't wanna to pack too much stuff around it. Just a little FYI. And more storage here. So you've got nice little storage compartments Good place for you know oils and different things like that that you need to carry with you. And here's the hydraulic reservoir for our jacks. And here's the last marker light for the passenger side of the coach. So as I come around the rear of the coach, you see that we've got the beautiful new graphics for the Frontier GTX. And then we've got our marker lights at the very top. In the center, you're going to have your rear view camera and that also has audio, one-way audio. So uh, the driver can hear what you're saying back here, so be careful what you say. And then we've got the ladder, which I'll put the extension on so you can see how you can easily do that. Then we've got our brake lights. And down below here, we have our hitch. Uh, this 360 horsepower um, Cummins engine with a 3000 Allison transmission will tow, uh, it's rated to tow 10,000 pounds. So what does that mean for you? It means that you can easily tow your um, 4,000 pound Jeep. Um, maybe even some toys with it. You're not going to have any problems. We've got our brake sink for your tow vehicle and the seven way for your tow vehicle lights. And this has 800 foot pounds of torque. Let's go ahead and check out what's behind the door here. So we have our power steering fluid. Here's your coolant. Make sure that that's always um, full. One of the things you want to make sure you do is that you only check this, the coolant when your engine is cool because that is very hot and it could burn you when you're checking it. This is your engine oil dipstick. Then we have the Deutsch plug so that a technician at National Indoor RV Centers can communicate with uh, your coach. Engine oil fill, transmission dipstick and fill here. So this is your air filter, um, engine air filter reminder. When it gets up to the red line, it's time to change that air filter. You probably should do that at least once a year. And then we have the rear radiator. Now, one thing about radiator maintenance, um, if you've driven a coach, it's been driven a while, there'll be debris stuck in that radiator. So you just wanna take your garden hose, just softly, gently, put your thumb over the end and then just squirt it out. If you squirt it or if you use a power washer, you're gonna bend those coils on your radiator and you don't wanna do that because you wanna keep good airflow. Here's the extension for your ladder. So you're just going to place it up against the bottom rung there and then just get it horizontal so that it can lock in and then it just folds down and then it will go right up against the coach there and there you have it ready to go. As I come around the back of the coach, you'll see our first marker light for the rear side of the driver's side. Then you see this vented area here. This is for ambient air to come into your engine. So it comes in here and then it's gonna go through the air cleaner into your engine. So we want cool, cooler, cleaner air, and this is how we achieve that. Then we also have our four house batteries inside this compartment. Very easy to get to them for maintenance or if you need to change them out, but really, if it's time to change your batteries, don't you think it's time to get a new coach? <laughs> That's what I think. Um, we can help you with that at National Indoor RV Centers, the batteries or the new coach. 
Uh, right inside here, you can see our two chassis batteries. They sit just above our 50 amp shore power cord. And then we've got our 50 amp shore power cord. One of my favorite things is that when these are on a power reel, if you've ever wound one of these up on a cold, brisk morning, um, it's a lot of work. I usually like to keep a washcloth with me and just hold that as I push the button so it kind of cleans off the cord as it goes in. One of those tips I share with you on my RV 101 series. And then you just put it in, tuck it right in. Now one of the things I like is they've given you a little port here so you can push that through and then you're going to shut that up. Again, that's going to seal off this compartment. You can lock the door. Um, you're not going to get critters in your coach because that's one of those things that you really always try to keep out, keep the critters out. Now here we have our 13 gallon DEF. DEF is our diesel exhaust fluid. Um, doesn't like heat, doesn't like light, and it does have a shelf life of about one year. So just be um, aware of that when you're purchasing DEF, if you're buying it off the shelf at like an AutoZone or a Walmart, um, that it does have a shelf life. And there's a gauge right here on that tank so you can see um, what level you're at at all times. Second marker light for the driver's side of the coach. And then we've got our wet bay here. So this is where you do all the dirty work. Um, I'll kind of just start and walk you through this. Uh, there is a utility light and you'll see this light right here. You can turn it on at the front, um, right when you, front console of your dash. There's a utility light. It turns on this light also when um, under the front, the front cap as well. So here's a spot where we can put paper towels, which is really nice so that once you've done all the dirty work, you can clean up. This is where you would add potable water um, to your coach. If you're dry camping and you need to add water, you do it here, or you can also sanitize your tank by adding tablets there. This is your full um, coach water filter. Just above that, we've got the water pump. We can turn that on and off here. Again, our light city water fill here, and then our black tank flush here. Hook up the hose to do that. Now, right below the city water fill is your water tank bypass. So when it is up and down like this, it's closed. So you're just gonna be bypassing your fresh water tank and going straight to your faucets. And then if you want to open it, then you're gonna fill your fresh water tank. We have a 95 gallon fresh water tank in this coach. Now, if you look right down here below, you can see our fresh water tank you can see our black tank, and you'll see it's a wedge design. The wedge design does a couple things. First of all, it kind of forces everything to a point, so it's gonna make it much easier to flush out. Also, you don't have this big tank that it's sloshing around in, so it kind of keeps all the contents down towards that V. So again, just easier to get everything out of there. Um, that's exclusive, one of the things that uh, Fleetwood does. We have the black tank drain and the gray tank drain. And then we've got the sewer hose connection. Now this actually does lift up so that you can connect it and then you can push it down and thread it through the hole there. Or you can thread it out here, but it makes it a lot easier to do that. And you'll see that this all is plastic so that you can squirt it out when all the dirty work is done. It looks like we need to do that. <laughs> and then we've got our cold water drain and our hot water drain and you do those right there if you're winterizing your coach. Again, one of those things you don't need to worry about if you're storing with National Indoor RV Centers. Then we have our shower, so we have hot and cold. This is really nice if you've been out kayaking, you wanna wa wash off your bike or your kayaks or your pets or your feet if you've been in the sand so you don't take it in the coach. Then just beyond that, we've got our two 110 outlets and just above that, we have our cable um, input. If you do decide to winterize yourself, you can follow the instructions here. And Fleetwood also gives you directions of how to hook up your city water, how to drain your fresh water tank, um, how to drain the hot and cold water plumbing system, all right here on the door, so that's really nice. Here is access to our big storage compartment. So, again, I love how easy it is to open that second door, you just pull this and it just opens so easily. We've got our sewer hose here, it's not hooked up yet, but
But again, access to this great big compartment where we can add a pass-through tray if we'd like. All right, so this is a really big deal for this Frontier GTX. Um, we have the Diesel Aqua Hot 400. So this is your on-demand hot water. This is your furnace once it drops below um, like 33 degrees. Just, you'll love the Aqua Hot system. Here's your system panel for when they service your Aqua Hot at National Indoor RV Centers. And then we have our fuel oil filter for your Aqua Hot system. Driver's side fuel fill for your 100 gallon tank fuel tank. And then we've got our windshield wiper fluid here. So here is connection where you can put air into your suspension system. And this is where you can connect and take air out. Say if you're filling inflatable toys, balls, footballs, bike tires, you can do that right there. Fuses up above and then nice storage space is here as well. Here you have two exhausts. So this is for your generator and this is for your diesel aqua hot. So I've gone ahead and extended the front cap. So the generator does pull out. There's just a latch right underneath the center and then you can pull that out for servicing. So we have the 8,000 watt Onan generator. So right here is where you would flip the breaker if you happen to trip it you would have to pull over and uh, flip it right there on the generator. You can also start and stop the generator and you can see the hours. Then you can see where you would add your coolant fill and your oil fill. Right up here, we've got our air horns and then we've got our dash AC. In the center, you'll see a light. When I turn on that um, utility light inside at the front uh, dash, that light will light up so you can you know, if you need to service this area or see what's going on in the dark, you can easily do that. If you look right back here, you'll see the steel um, structure here that is part of that Freedom Sport foundation that goes along with the Freightliner chassis um, to give it that nice ride and drive. So I'm so excited to show you this cool new floor plan and the 37RT. Let's go take a look. As I step into the Frontier GTX, I've got great handlebars here so I can safely get in and out of the coach. And then right here on the front panel, there's a few things to talk about. So right here, we've got the step cover, which that will come out and cover the stairwell when we're in travel mode. And then we've got our control panel. This is new. Um, this is really nice. So you can do your slide outs from right here, your driver's side, road side, and your entry awning. And then we can just scroll through that. And we've got our lights, so when we get to the coach, we can turn on just the front accent lights, will give us kind of a walkway, or we can turn on the living room lights. And anytime you see that arrow, you can dim those lights. And then we've got the controls for the um, entry ceiling lights, our porch lights, so just right outside the door. The luggage compartments, we can turn the lights on our awning lights, and then we can lock the step. So I like to lock that step out um, so that anytime I go in and out of the coach, the, lock, the step just stays out. So it's not needl needlessly using that motor to go in and out. The great thing about that is there is always a protection. So as soon as I turn on my ignition, even if I forget to unlock my step, when I turn on my ignition, it's gonna automatically bring that step in and unlock it. Battery disconnect right when you get into the coach. So you can turn that on or off as you're getting in or out of the coach. You also have your main disconnects outside that I showed you earlier. Then right to the side of that, we've got our fire extinguisher. Now this is one of those things I wanna to talk to you about. Fire extinguisher is great to have there if you need it outside or if you need it inside the coach. But one of the things I want you to go look at is my video on Protang. It's a fire suppression system that National Indoor RV Center sells exclusively. You can have it custom quoted for your coach. So you can just do it in the engine compartment or just the generator compartment. Um, whatever you feel like is important or we can give you a quote for the entire coach. But give us a call today and go watch that video. Now as I step up into the cockpit area here, I'm gonna go over the storage here. So I'm just going to open this first compartment here. We've got our controls for our hydraulic leveling system. So you need to have your ignition on for this to work. And then you'll just turn it on here. And then if you wanna bring your jacks down, just hit the auto button. Or if you wanna do your jacks manually, you can do those right here. So when I turn that on, 
you'll have lights in all four corners. Um, if you just have a light in the front here, that means that you need to bring that up or down. You can do that man manually. Again, the easiest way to do it is just the auto button. Um, we'll take them all down and then all jacks retract. We'll bring them all up to get you into travel mode. Super easy, easy to use. Then we have our slide room controls. We have our full wall slide out control here. Again, have your ignition on and have the key on. And then you've got your slide out control for your driver side room, slide out rooms. One of the things I love about this area here is that Fleetwood makes this upper bunk. You don't even realize that it's there. So this is an optional feature to have this bunk above the cab area, which I love. And you've got these doors here for storage. They slide since you've got this bunk room. Um, so you've got everything inside here. We have the Vega touch, just a control that's gonna be for your panel that I'll show you here in a minute where you can control a lot of the functions of the coach. We have the two 110 outlets and the two USB charging ports. Those are mainly gonna be used when you bring that bunk down because um, you really probably won't have those cords hanging out here, but it's great for the people that are sleeping in the bunk area. We've got our over the air antenna, and then you can add the technology package, which is your Wi-Fi Ranger, your cell booster, and your 300 watt solar um, panel. Now, one of the things, when you watch my videos, you'll see a lot of features. If you wanna know exactly what comes standard, what's optional, make sure you give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers, where our RV lifestyle specialists are waiting to tell you um, I want to make sure you get exactly what you want. So give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. Our RV lifestyle specialists are waiting and ready to help you, let you know what's come standard and what's optional. And we are more than happy to sell you what's on the lot, or we can custom order a coach exactly how you want it. Right in the center here, we have our 32 inch Insignia TV speakers on both sides. And then we go over to another storage compartment. Here we've got the optional cell booster, and then also we've got the TV lockout so that you cannot have the TV on when you're going down the road. Welcome to the beautiful living room of the 37RT. So we've optioned in the Coventry decor package. You have two other decor packages that you can choose from, and then the gray stone wood, and you have three other options for wood. So I think that Fleetwood does this beautifully. I love their furniture. I love the backsplash, just all the little details, very residential feeling. Um, now, again, when I speak about options, so we've optioned in the theater seating here. You could also put a sofa in here that would have a fold out mattress. I've turned around the captain's and the co-captain's chair so you can see that gives you additional seating. Um, and the co-captain chair here, you're gonna have a footrest, so you have a recliner. And then you can see that we've got the nice big TV that's directly across from the theater seating or the sofa. So great for viewing, great for viewing from the chairs as well. So really nice area that you can get a lot of people in. Um, in fact, you can comfortably sit one, two, three, four, or five, six people in here. Then you can sleep. You've got the bed above me, plus uh, the king bed in the, the main master bedroom. So you just put your smallest little key in here and then turn it and then just hold the button down. You're gonna bring that bed down. Now, I think this is a great option, even if you don't think you're going to use it. First of all, you can't option it in afterwards. Um, because we have to have the support there. This bed will support up to 500 pounds. So that's two full-size adults. Um, so you've got to have that support in there already. Um, you can also use this for soft storage if you want to store blankets, coats up here. This can also be a safe because it is key driven. So if I want to put money up there or if you're in Texas, you might want to, you know, those weapons that we like to carry, um, you can put those up there, unlock that, and then it's going to be safe. Uh, you have a nice cool air mattress here, and then you've got slats underneath here, so it's gonna give you some support as you're sleeping, so it really is quite comfortable. Again, you'll remember that you've got the two 110 outlets and the two USB charging ports there, and the light control for the bedroom in the back cabinet. And then we've got our ladder, just super easy. We just, Put that on, lock it into place, and you can easily just head right, right up. There's also a nice little storage compartment in the bunk area as well. 
You'll see the hooks that run across the front of the bed here. Those are for your privacy drape. So you can totally shut off that area, have a little privacy if you'd like. Also on this unit, you'll note that we have three 15 BTU AC units, plus the rear one has a heat pump in it as well. So that's really nice for a 37 foot coach to have three AC units. Those three AC units are standard, not an option. That's what you get on this Frontier GTX. So let's check out the storage of the, the sofa area. So we have nice deep cabinets here with there's no break, there's no divider. So you can use all that space. Um, and inside the very back of this cabinet, we've got four available 110 outlets. And then we've got our matrix system so we can figure out which input we want for each TV. So the main TV, the bedroom TV, exterior TV, you can control that all right there. And then we've also got HDMI cables in case you want to hook up a gaming system. You can do that right there. That's sort of your AV cabinet. So right underneath our cabinet, we've got two 110 outlets. We've got our lift for our TV so we can bring the TV up or down from right here, which is nice because this is where you're sitting when you're viewing that TV. And then you've got the light switch here. So standard here comes a sofa with the pull out mattress sleeper sleeper sofa, or you can option in the theater seating. They are super um, popular. They are powered. So you can just simply sit back, relax. And we have our port here for our USB so we can charge our phone, cup holder, and it's lit. And then if you come over to the center here, we have a nice storage compartment here. This is a great place to keep your remotes or your blankets. I like to have a blanket um, when I sit down. So just really comfortable. Love the theater seating and I love that it's powered so you don't have to try to get that footrest back in. So probably one of my favorite features in this living room is this area right here. So we've got the fireplace. I love that because it's the quickest way to take the chill off your coach. So you can use the remote here. You can just power it on or you can do it right here from the manual. Um, you can just turn it on. You can change the flame color so you can just have it for ambiance. You don't have to actually have the heat coming out. I've got it on right now. You can also set the temperature and then you can take that light lighting down. So that's really nice. Again, great way to warm up your coach right below the fireplace. We've got a nice storage compartment here. So above is what I really like too. A lot of people will say a china cabinet in a you know, a coach, let me tell you, I've seen what customers have put in this area. This can be your liquor cabinet. This can be a lot of your storage for like your flour, your sugar. Um, one of the videos that I do is called RVing 101. And if you wanna see how some of, some of my customers have maximized their storage space, take a look at that. I think you'll get some great um, tips and tricks from that as well. So here we have our beautiful dining area. Before we get started there, I want you to notice this little um, black dot on the wall here. This is your thermistor. This is your thermostat for the front part of the coach here. We'll communicate with the thermostat and keep the temperature nice and pleasant or, or to what you've set it at. Then we've got our eating area here. Now this is nice because you can extend that table. We've got two extra folding chairs, so I'll show you what that looks like, but you can see that you can easily get four people to dinner here. I love that the table is nice and wide. A lot of times the tables extend far, but then you, you know, your dinner plates are gonna be touching each other. This is nice. You can actually have some food on the table plus your plates. Um, also, when you go with the option for the table and chairs, you get more storage here. So you've got the adjustable shelves here, drop down here and you can pull that out so you can use this as an office area. The other option for this area is to do the booth dinette. And a lot of people like that too because they don't wanna worry about moving, having chairs move around. If you see right here at the bottom, there's a little um, strap here. You can attach that to your chair or you hook the chair to that so when you're in travel mode, those chairs aren't gonna move around for, on you. So below the table, we've got another big storage compartment here. And then on this side, we've got a big drawer that can be like a filing cabinet. Lots of nice storage space. And then we've got our 50 inch Insignia TV. So nice and big TV. Now that's going to drop down. I can go ahead and take that down. Then you'll see that we have a big window. 
So we have this nice big window sitting here having dinner overlooking our patio, which is really nice. MCD shades, we've got the night shade. And if you note, those are color match to the interior package. So a detail that Fleetwood, I think, is one of the only um, companies that does that. And I just think it just gives it that extra residential fill, um, beautiful decor. And then we've got the day shade as well. So now we can sit here, enjoy the beautiful outdoors while we're eating. Nice counter space here, beautiful solid surface countertops, great storage above the dining area as well. It goes really deep here in the back. Sound speaker here and more storage and another big cabinet here. So I've got three of the chairs to the table. I wanted to show you this folding chair because when I first pulled this chair out, I was like, oh, it doesn't fold up. It's just that's the office chair. Um, but actually it does pull out. You just have to pull it from the bottom and they're really like sturdy chairs. Again, I just think that really adds to the quality of this coach. Like it's a nice, very comfortable folding chair that doesn't really look like a folding chair. So you can see that you can easily get four adults at this table. I also want to point out the porcelain floor. Again, another very residential, beautiful feature um, that you get in the frontier. So check out this beautiful kitchen. I love, like I said, the solid surface countertop, the backsplash. They really do the best job as far as framing out that window and then picking really beautiful backsplashes. Again, looks very residential with the residential faucets. Everything just goes together so nicely. So I love it. Then we've got the beautiful glass cabinet doors. Again, I love that you can't see in them though because nothing is ever like pretty inside my cabinet. So they're very functional, pretty but functional. And then we have the adjustable shelf here. So you can put really big air fryer, coffee pot up there, um, some bigger items if you wanna move that shelf up or you can divide it, just, you know, make it your own. Convection and microwave oven right next door to that. And then just below that, we've got the light here that will come from the convection microwave oven. Then we've got the light switches here for the kitchen area and the light switch there for your dining area. Now, behind the covers, the sink covers, we've got a nice residential farm sink. And what I really like about that is you've got this um, the sprayer here that you can get into all those corners. Right now with the square sinks that are so fashionable, hard to get them cleaned out if you don't have that. So that's really nice, they've given you that. And then look at that big space below, easily get a trash can in there. Again, some of those bigger appliances we can get in there, which is really nice. And then I do love the sink covers. You can just cover up what's in there if you need to. They're easy to put on and off. We've got our two burner induction cooktop stove. So any pan that a magnet will attach to will work on this. Um, what's great is it heats up really fast and boils your water really fast because things heated really fast, but it's really not hot to the touch. And then all the storage below. Nice full extension drawers, very smooth. Nice big LG refrigerator. I love that with the big drawers so you can get a full pizza box in there if you need or cake. And then you've got your freezer. This is nice too because you've got individual drawers so you can separate everything. Sometimes in those big freezer drawers, you can't get to anything that's on the bottom. So you kind of forget what's there. I like that these are nice and separated. And you've got your ice maker. Another cool thing is you've got your travel lock right here. So that's one of those things I talk about in my RV and 101 series. Um, I have a checklist, pre-trip checklist. If you want a copy of my list, um, just email me at Angie at nirvc.com. I'll be happy to send that to you. Kind of gives you what I do before I head out for a trip. And this is definitely on that list because you don't want the contents of your refrigerator coming out onto your beautiful floor <laughs> while you're in travel mode. It's just one of those things that you can easily forget if you're not thinking about it. Then just beyond the refrigerator and freezer, we've got our pantry with the pull-out drawers, full extension, really nice. So you can get to all those contents, even in the very far back of your pantry. 
and more below. And we have a little more space even directly across from the kitchen. So more storage here. We also have kind of a little cheat sheet here on our interiors, our fabrics that are used, our paint color is used, but that's nice that it's easy to find if you ever need to touch anything up. Then just below the pantry area here, we've got our breaker box and it's nicely labeled. And just below that, we've got our vent for our furnace. So again, we've got the 400 uh, diesel aqua hot. So that's gonna give you your on-demand hot water um, and your furnace once you drop below, you know, 33 degrees or so, you're gonna wanna use that versus your heat pumps. And what's nice about the vents is that you can see they're built into the cabinetry. So the air is gonna flow up and roll up to the coach. Um, it will heat it nicely and again, that diesel aqua hot is a game changer as far as your hot water and your furnace goes. Just above the pantry is a cabinet for my engineers. You're gonna love this. So this is the pinout for your um, firefly system. Again, my engineers will love this and then everyone else, you don't need to worry about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. In here as well is your AC manual override. So it's gonna override any control or whatever, anything that you've set on your Firefly system um, as far as your AC goes. So if you turn those on, they will continuously run. They won't go off. Um, but in it, for some reason, if your panel's not working, you can operate those or turn on your ACs from here. So right across from the refrigerator, we've got our optional central vac. So we can just plug in there so we can vacuum out the whole coach, which is really nice. Then just above that, we've got our Firefly control panel. So this is how we can control a lot of the functions of the coach right from here, or I can go ahead and pair my phone with this and I can, as long as the coach is connected to Wi-Fi and I'm connected to Wi-Fi, I can control it remotely. So I'll show you how you can do that. The first panel here is our home panel. So we can turn all the lights on or off, or we can control the bedroom lights, living room lights, entry lights. Here is our step lock. We can turn that on or off from here. And then it's gonna give us the level of our house and our chassis batteries and let us know that the AGS is um, disabled right now. Temperatures of the front, mid, and rear of the coach. And then we can turn on our um, diesel aqua hot burner or our aqua hot electric here. And then we can start and stop the generator. Also, it's gonna give us our generator hours then it will tell us our tank levels. So fresh tank, they're all at zero, but the capacity for the fresh is 95, gray is 65, and black was 45. And we can turn on our water pump here. It's also gonna give us, um, let us know what um, voltage we're bringing in on our line one and two. Then we go to our electrical page here. So it's gonna let us know that our power source, right now we are plugged into 50 amp service. And then it's also again gonna give us the the volts that we're bringing in or the amps that we're bringing in on our line one and two. We can start and stop our generator from here and we can also do our auto gen start settings from here. So auto gen start is really nice. Um, you can have it triggered for voltage. So once it drops below 12 volts, it will turn on and the time right now is set for 10 minutes, but you can easily raise that or lower that just that easily. Um, you can also have it triggered by temperature. Say that you wanna keep your coach at 70 degrees. Once it drops below 70 degrees, it will start up so that it can bring it back to that 70 degrees. Um, you can also set the max run time and then you can set the, t the maximum times that it will restart. If it's not up to that right um, voltage, after it's run four times, it will only do four times or you can lower that to just to where it will only do it two times. You can also set up your quiet time here. So when you're in a park, typically they have hours that you can and you cannot run your generator and you'll set that right there. Then we go to our light page. It's pretty self-explanatory here, but you're gonna have the lights for the rear of the coach, the main part of the coach and the entry. And then anytime you see the up or down arrows, you can hold those lights and it will dim those lights. And then of course we have the all lights on and off at the top, just like we had in our home page. That's always nice to have. Then we have our climate control panel. So here we have the rear coach, mid and front, and you can set the temperature that you'd like those to be at. And then cool, heat, 
your aqua your furnace or your aqua hot heat and then you can just set it on auto the mid you just have the cool option and the front you have your cool or your um, diesel burner heat basically and then you can turn on the aqua hot burner or you can go with the aqua hot uh, electric so you have our fans we have the fan in the galley just off the kitchen you can power that up and then raise it up and down and the bathroom fan you can control here there's also another panel that you can control that inside the bathroom here is the control for your slide rooms so you can do that from the panel here you can do it from the panel at the front entry door or you can do that off your phone now the thing that's nice about this being able to do it off your phone if you're trying to put out your slide outs by yourself you don't have someone that's visually watching those slides to make sure you're not going to hit a tree you can be outside controlling it off your phone and making sure that your slide room does not hit a branch or a tree we don't want to scratch those paints so here you can control those slide rooms and your awnings from this panel and then we've got our settings panel this is where you can adjust your screen brightness you know kind of customize your screen a little bit and this is where you would pair that app to your phone so you'll just scan this on your phone put in the pin code and then you can pair the mirror app to your phone so that you can do all these functions from your phone as well just above the control panel we have the thermistor for the midship part of the coach again that's going to help communicate with the thermostat to keep your coach nice and comfortable so stepping into the midship bathroom nice and roomy in here We've got lots of storage, medicine cabinet here with a mirror and then adjustable shelves here and more there. So quite a bit of, bit of storage. We've got our control panel here with our ceiling lights, our water pump, uh, the control for our fan. We could turn it on and off and take it up and down. We've got a little towel holder here. Again, all residential faucets, solid surface countertop, stainless bowl sink. And we've got our two 110 outlets right there drawers and a nice spot here big enough spot that you could actually put a little waste can in there if you want to keep that out of the space of the bathroom just to give you a little bit more foot room here then we've got our porcelain toilet toilet paper holder then we have our MCD blackout shades, so really easy to open up. And then you've got a window that you can open if you want a little fresh air in here. Now, one of the things I really like is they've given this little hook for our towel. And then we've got the glass doors for the shower. Nice roomy shower here. We've even got a little seat spot for our soaps, shampoos. And then we have the handheld wand here so we can put it up fixed or hold it which is always nice to have that option and a little soap tray controls for the water and we have a skylight so for those of us that need a little extra headroom we've got plenty here now this door closes really easily you just need to unlatch it but that's where you'd have it in travel mode and then it just shuts off so that you're not going to have any leaking on out into your floor I also want to mention one of the things that I really like about this door is that it's a pocket door. So you don't have a door that's swinging out into the hallway. Just merely push that down and pull it open or shut. So we're getting really close to my favorite part of the coach, that rear closet or rear office option. But until then, look at this gorgeous master bedroom that we have. Again, we've got the doors that just unlock here and pull shut for privacy. Then we have our king size bed with the cool air mattress. So nice, kind of has a little bit of a Tempur-Pedic feel to it. Very comfy. Now this bed is on a slide, so it does slide up and you do have to have it um, lifted when you go to bring your slides in. It's also another nice feature just because you may want to have it slightly lifted when you're watching TV. I like that feature. Then to the side of each bed, we've got the uh, two 110 outlets and two USB charging ports. Uh, so you can easily charge your phones in a nice little nightstand. I love that they've got the valances that um, get smaller as they go down, the leg gets smaller so that you're not gonna hit those while you're sleeping. And then we've got our MCD 
shades here. We've got windows that open so you can have a nice cross breeze if you're up in the mountains, want to get some fresh air. I love that. And then we've got storage above. And boy, this is nice and deep storage. You'd probably need to get like a plastic bin that you can pull everything out because um, there's no way I could reach the back of that. Then we've got storage in the center. Now in the center storage, we do have a port there so you can have a cord come through and you also have two 110 outlets. And then you've got another compartment here for storage. So lots of overhead storage. And then right below that, we've got our ceiling light button control, our thermistor for the bedroom. And then we have our firefly panel here for right underneath the bed. So nice to get to all lights on or off. And then our bedroom ceiling lights, our porch lights. So if you hear a sound outside, you wanna turn on those lights just to scare anything away that's outside, you can do that right there. Start and stop your generator, turn on your aqua hot burner or your aqua hot electric. Then we can go to our cooling climate system. So we can turn on our ACs or our heat here as needed in the front, mid, and rear of the coach. We can turn on our fans right here, and then we can go to our settings. We can change the brightness of our screen, go to clean mode, um, you know, just a few settings that we can do here. Now here to the side of that panel, we've got our camera selector. So outside you have your rear view camera and you have your side view cameras that are in your exterior mirrors. You can turn your TV on and then you can select so you see your camera and you can go scroll through those cameras. So say you hear a noise outside, um, you can go ahead and turn on your porch light uh, from here and then you can select through those cameras to see if you can see what, what's going on outside, which just gives you an added sense of security um, when you're back here in the bedroom. And then we've got our light switch for this person here. Just to the side of the left of the bed is the control for the bed lift. So you can just go ahead and raise that. You can see that how that'd be kind of nice for when you're watching TV at night to have that bed lifted. The other things that's nice about the bed lift is when you do lift it during the day, look at how much extra room that gives you here in the wardrobe section of your coach. So I really like that and just go ahead and lift that all the way up. We'll get that ready so um, I can bring my slides in and show you how much room we have when the slides are in, um, in travel mode. Now on the wardrobe side, now we've got all this extra space. Let's check out the storage here. Nice big storage there. You can see that we've got two, actually three 110 available outlets inside here. And there's no divider in there, so you can use all that space kind of behind the TV as well. Then we have our 32 inch um, Insignia TV and another storage compartment. Again, that's lit and again, no divider. So if you've got something long that you need to store there, you can put it back there, which is a nice option. Again, I like the glass doors, gives you that extra design detail. We've got adjustable shelves here, our little manual with all of our, our, our bag with all of our manuals in it. And then look at that nice big counter space here another adjustable shelf here in this storage compartment and then we've got all these drawers now one of the things that you haven't seen yet and you're not going to see in the closet because we have a walk-in closet is your washer and dryer so we have side by side washer and dryer here what I love about this setup is that it's right across from the bed, or I've got this nice counter space here so I can pull out the clothes, fold them, put them right away. I love this feature and they kind of just disappear into the coach. You've got a great place to fold your clothes and then it just closes up nice and neat and you would never even guess that it's there. In fact, I've been in an RV show where I've been in this coach just kind of listening to customers' comments and they're like, no, this coach won't work for me because there's no washer and dryer. So they're so disguised, people don't even realize they're there when they walk right by them. We also have a control panel for our lights here as you walk into the bedroom, all lights on and off. I love that, going to bed at night, just hit them right there. 
your um, ceiling lights for your bedroom, your bathroom, your living room, your porch, your roadside slide, you can retract or you can lock from right there. And then you can go to your settings page. Just to the side of this cabinet here, we've got the lights. Now this is the lights for inside the cabinet so that when you open those doors, they're lit, which is nice. And then we've got the light here and two 110 outlets, two USB charging outlets. So now I get to show you my favorite part about this couch and what I've been so excited to show you this whole entire time. So below, behind these gorgeous barn doors is the either walk-in closet, which comes standard, or you can option in an office. And as far as I know, this is the first office that I've seen in a coach that's truly a dedicated space that you can close off, have a conference call. So we've got these nice doors here. They are, um, there's a magnet kind of latch, so they, they kind of close tightly. And then you just push them open. And welcome to either my office or my walk-in closet, or a little bit of both. So you can see we've got our folding chair here. We've got a nice desk station here. We have a 32 inch um, TV. Now that's mainly gonna be used for a monitor screen. And then we've got the pop-up outlets. So two 110, two USB, and we can just pop those up um, or push them down if we're not needing them. Our blackout shades so you can see you can be here in the office I could be at a beautiful state park I could be sitting back looking at a lake or the ocean and working here I love this feature probably one of the coolest features now that so many of us can work remotely this opens up our options big time so we've got all this space here and then we have storage above so adjustable shelves so again, this could be closet storage for clothing up here or office goods. Just so many, so much is electric now, electronic. We don't have as much to store in our offices. At least I don't anymore. So you could use that for clothing if you wanted to. More storage here. Again, adjustable shelves. We've got three available 110 outlets and then nice big drawer here and plenty of foot room. There's even a little storage there behind the chair, so you get a lot of room. Obviously access to your engine compartment if you need it here, and then come into the wardrobe area. So if you option this um, with the standard just walk-in closet, this is all going to be, you're gonna have this much, you know, that spar is gonna go all the way across there and back there, so you're gonna have a ton of wardrobe space. Um, but even with the split office, closet combination you have a lot of space so you have the hanging bar here space above two 110 outlets storage below here this is a great place where you can put shoes boots actually a tall enough place to put boots or you could get bins and you can put your shoes in bins or folded clothes in the bins so just optional area there and then we've got the low high bar and low bar wardrobe bars there just beyond this, we've got a spot where we can store our extra folding chairs. So we just bungee cord those in so they're nice and tight during travel. So I'm always excited when I get to show you more than one floor plan when I do a video. So today I get to show you both available floor plans for the Frontier GTX. So this is the 39TA and love this nice open area here for your living room. We've got the adaptable table, which is a table I just love so you just pull out your chairs you can sit this way look out the window or you can just pull out these levers here pull it out and then there's you just turn it let's get your chairs out of the way so seats to the other way and four this way so really cool feature so easy to use and really makes um, great use of that space and that table. Then we've got the sofa here. You can also option in theater seating. Moving into the kitchen area, lots of counter space here. The two burner um, induction cooktop stove, our residential refrigerator freezer, which I just think that's a nice looking refrigerator freezer. The drawers, just like on the other unit. You can see tons of counter space, I mean of cupboard space, storage space, 
above and below. Like nice big drawer there. So much storage. We'll pull out. Plenty of space here for a waste can. Kind of a big waste can if you want. More storage, our sink covers. And then just check out all the beautiful cabinetry above. Nice big storage space here if you've got coffee maker, air fryer, you know, bigger pots or pans that you want to put up there. Adjustable shelves, always nice. This is the winter fog wood choice. Again, you've got three other options and the cadet decor package. One of my favorite features are these two big windows. So you can just see how much light that, I won't even open them all the way, but you can see how much light that brings in to the coach. So that's a huge feature for me. And then we've got the midship, which is your full bath here, midship. So it's great because if you have guests, you've got your overhead bunk that's optional there. If you have guests, they can use the shower, the bathroom without having to use your private bathroom. So really nice and roomy, big shower here, skylight, so plenty of um, headroom there if you're taller nice storage and then right outside the midship bath we have the master bedroom i think it's beautiful we've got the queen size bed now uh, you can totally lay on that when you're in travel mode you don't have to put it up to bring your slides in when your slides in they will be touching the sides and then we've got this great wardrobe here storage on either side with places for shoes look at all those drawers nice full extension drawers And then as we move back, we've got storage above, great headboard. Anyway, all the details, looks nice. And then we come back to the optional washer dryer. Your own sink, beautiful sink actually. I love the residential fill of this. And then your own bathroom. So great if you have guests or you wanna keep your bathroom private to yourself, Everyone can use a midship bathroom for showers, potty, and then you've got your own bathroom back here. So a really nice floor plan. So I wanted to show you what this floor plan looks like with the slides in. You can see there's plenty of room back here in the bedroom. I could easily lay on the bed. I can even walk to the other side of the bed. Great access to the bathroom. I mean like tons and tons. I think this is the most space I've seen in a coach um, with the slides in. Then in the kitchen area, all this space i can open that drawer that door fully lots of space as you're traveling down the road in this floor plan so here we are at the cockpit want to go over these nice comfy chairs first of all super comfortable and i'm not just saying that they really are very comfortable they're made by roadwire and we've got the power controls so forward and back and then down and up and forward tilt and then rear tilt. And then on the other side, I have the control for the backrest so I can adjust that forward and back. And that's just a lever. And then there's one lever that you just pull up and that is what allows you to rotate the chair once you wanna take that into the dining room. So super easy to use. And then the arms, you can just pull all the way back to reset and then put it where you want it. So very easy to use. To the left of me here, I have a nice pocket here for those of us that like to still carry a map. That's a great place to put it. Just inside our compartment, storage compartment here, we have two 110 outlets and a USB charging port. Just above that, I've got the defrost for the exterior mirrors and the control for the exterior mirrors, cup holder. Beyond that, we've got our fan, and right at the very top here, we've got the alert system for the mobile eye, which I will show you when we do our test drive. Below our air duct here, we have our lights, so we can put it in A for auto, so that they'll just come on and off automatically. Our marker lights, headlights, and then pull up and turn for the fog lights. Then we have the suspension air, lower and auto. So say I'm loading the coach and I want to 
drop the air suspension as low as it can go. I'll just go ahead and lower it right there. Um, but then when I'm ready to leave again, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in auto so that it will just um, air up as normal. So down here on my left foot, I've got a pedal control here. I just push that down and then I'm able to adjust the steering column where I want it. I like to kind of set it in my lap there. Then to the left, I've got the control for our um, turn signals. So again, when you put those turn signals on, you're gonna be able to see down the full side of the coach of the direction that you're turning. I also have my windshield wiper controls here so I can turn them on and off here. If I wanna use the windshield wiper fluid, I would just push this in and hold. And then we've got our brights control too. So I can pull forward on the paddle to flash my brights. I can push back on the paddle to keep my brights on at all times. Here's the paddle control for our transmission. So it's really nice. Everything's right here on the steering column. So your eyes are up, hands are on. Um, so we could just go through our transmission, drive, neutral, reverse right there. And our engine brake is also on this paddle. So up is off and then down is on. So your engine brake is on. And then if you need to manually shift, this is where you would manually shift. You take it into manual and you can shift higher or lower and then once you want to bring it back to auto shifting just push and hold so here on the dash you can control the information that you see on your screen ahead of you so i can go to my home button and go to gauges and then i can scroll through the different gauges and get inf information on my engine i can go back right here go down to fuel economy back tire pressure now the great thing for 2023 this model comes standard with tpms so that's a really nice feature then we've got our trip information our trip to information vehicle settings this is where you can um, pair your phone with your div with the coach um, change the dash brightness, go into the TPMS, which is your tire pressure monitoring system, which again, like I said, comes standard. Customize your screen and then reset to your default. Diagnostics. And then you can just turn the menu off and just go back to your uh, miles per hour. We also have the volume controls for our radio right here. Obviously we have our horn right in the center, and then we can make a call, hang up a call from here, turn on our cruise control. So a uh, little dial will come up and then you can set your cruise, cruise control, resume or cancel. And you can also mute your radio quickly if you need to right from here. Then we have our marker lights. They're sort of a courtesy light. Nowadays, there are tons of semi trucks on the road when you're traveling so at night especially if you want to pass a truck you'll go out pass it and then the trucker will typically flash their lights one time their brights one time to let you know that it's safe to pull it back into the lane and so you can just flash your marker light three times to say thank you and again you can do the same thing for truckers if they want to pass you once they were going to pull into your lane just flash your headlights to let them know that it's safe for them to pull into the lane just a courtesy then just beyond our paddle here we've got our hazard lights just on and off so just down from our hazards we have our ignition vent park brake and then our 12 volt receptacle just above that we've got our uh, console display here and this is our microphone for our Bluetooth. And then we've got our home button, our back button, our volume and mute for the radio, USB. So just pull that aside. You've got a USB input here and an aux input. And then you've got your radio, streaming, music. So if you wanna play your own music, if you wanna plug in here, you can go through your own music or you can Bluetooth it. Cameras. So you can see your rear view camera or go over here and go through your side view cameras or your rear there as well. Then you've got your settings so you can customize information on your screen. EQ for your settings for your music balance. 
So here we've got our quick buttons, so you can quickly get to your maps here. Go back, make a phone call, go to your apps, radio or music. AC controls here, another 12 volt outlet. And then just below here, we've got the control for our shades, our front shade up and down, our utility light. This is for our wet bay, so we can turn the light on we need to do any of that dirty work at night. Our auxiliary start button. If you were to have left your coach and you come back and let's say your chassis batteries are dead and you can't get them to start. So you would tie your house batteries with your chassis batteries to get enough power to then start your engine. This is where we can turn our generator on and off. We've got our USB and auxiliary input here our radio so once we're in travel mode we want our radio to play but say we are now at the park we turned off our engine but we still want to play radio or music from our dash here we would just put it in park and play there and then this is where we can lock and unlock our entry door nice storage space below so here in the co-captain's chair it's just as comfortable as a driver's seat you have the same buttons except one extra one, which is probably my favorite because you have the foot rest. So you can just easily get into a nice, comfortable position, get ready to go down the road. Now, the other button that we have here is our step cover. So you just wanna go ahead and extend that so that you don't fall into it accidentally during travel if you get up to get a drink or you don't want, our, you don't want any of our furry friends to fall in there either. Just to the side of the co-pilot, we've got our cup holder, nice little space here for our phone, and then we've got two 110 outlets. Another thing that I like is to have this blind, so I've got the blackout shade and the day shade here, or I can pull them both up if I want you know, more visibility while we're going down the road. So it's finally time to hit the road in the Frontier GTX. Now remember, this has got the 360 horsepower engine, so I think that's gonna be really nice to test out. Um, also, if you've never driven a Class A diesel before, there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, everyone has to start somewhere, so a lot of times I'll say go to a park somewhere where you're not pressured to have a lot of cars around you. The biggest thing to figure out is where you start to turn the coach because your tires are actually behind you. So you don't turn until you're, the center of your front axle of your tires is at the turn. So you put your nose out there a little bit further. It's a little uncomfortable at first, but you'll get used to it. And the other thing I always say is just don't be in a hurry. Um, that's where you get yourself into trouble. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my blinker here. Now that my blinker is on, you can see that you can see down the full left side of my coach and I'm clear to go. So let's hit the road. All right, so again, I just tell everyone, take your time when you're RVing. That's when you get into trouble. The other thing I like to tell people is to hug the left side of the lane that they are traveling in. So not always to stay in the left lane, but just hug the center of that left lane. Everything bad happens on the right. Uh, road debris, street signs, all that. So um, just another little good tip that I heard a thousand times if I heard it once when I started driving RVs. So mobile eye here is going to watch my following distance with the car in front of me. Also, it's going to detect the speed limit sign. And then I've got it set super sensitive uh, so that if I go more than five miles per hour over the speed limit, I should get a warning. Now I'm in town now, so I may not be able to make that, um, may, may not be able to demonstrate that for you, but it's just all the things that are packed into that mobile eye that are all there to help keep me safe and keep me RV. So as I get up to 60, I'm just going to veer out of my lane just a little bit. So you can hear that sound as soon as I went out of my lane and that would go for either way. If I'm not putting on my blinker and changing lanes, I get that warning. So I like that. That's going to keep me safe. Now I'm going to get up to 60. I'm going to turn on my cruise control and set it. Now I can take my foot off the um, accelerator and just sit back and enjoy the ride, which I love. So I just did the decibel reader. I was going 60 miles per hour and you can see 66.4, super quiet. So I'm on some windy country back roads. 
Um, it's beautiful and that's the fun thing about RVing is that it's the journey of getting there is as much fun as being there. And this is the way that you really get to see um, our beautiful country. So you can come out to National Indoor RV Centers, ask to go for a test drive. We definitely want you to know what you're purchasing. And you know, as I'm sitting here in this Frontier uh, GTX, it's very smooth, very quiet. Um, the ride feels nice and sturdy and strong as I um, took a, a, a turn just a little bit ways back. I didn't feel any sway. Um, I think you're really gonna like the way this drives. So the only way for you to know for yourself is come out to National Indoor RV Centers and give one a test drive. So at National Indoor RV Centers, we really try to make the buying process super easy. We take in trades, we do consignments, we'll do a buy bid, we offer financing, um, really anything to help you get into an RV. And again, it's all about getting into the right RV for you. We don't want to push you into anything. We're happy to order you exactly what you would like. Um, so you can come in, do your custom order. You just have to be a little bit more patient or we're happy to find something that works for you that's right off of our sales lot. So make sure you give us a call. We are here to help you answer all your questions because I know you're busy doing your research. Let us be the experts and help you get into the perfect RV. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the 2023 Fleetwood Frontier GTX as much as I have. Now I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous coach would cost you. Well, current MSRP is 440,913. If you wanna know how much I can sell it to you for, make sure you pick up the phone, give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers, or go to our website, nirvc.com, where you can see all of our inventory. We are here and ready to help you. We wanna make the RV buying experience super easy, fun, and we wanna bring you into the NIRVC family. So remember, at National Indoor RV Centers, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less. So make sure you give us a call. Also, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. Check out, check out our tow package video, our RVing 101 series, and Retroband. Thanks so much for joining me and have a wonderful day.